In this brief video, we're going to be discussing how to use your TI-84 calculator to use the A plus BI mode, and also to talk about using that for your operations on I. So first of all, the big thing is that you need to do your mode. Hit the mode button, and if you go down here, you'll see that eventually you'll see this spot that says real or A plus BI. These are the only two that we're going to be using in most of our high school courses. Uh, it's likely that your calculator is has the real highlighted. If so, you just arrow down to that row, move over to where it says A plus BI, and hit enter so that that is highlighted. And then when you hit quit, you'll be able to use A plus BI mode. Now the great thing about that is that you can just do the square root of, say, a negative 36, and before this would have said an error or a um, domain error. In this case, it'll actually calculate and say that that is equal to 6i. So um, now your calculator is able to do the square root of a negative and put it into our a plus bi or our complex mode. So other operations you can do on i with your graphing calculator. i is an option down here with your periods with the very bottom right here. So you have to hit the second button and then the period down here and that gives you your i value. So if you wanted to do i squared, just type that in and it does equal negative one as we expect it to. If we wanted to do four uh, i, so four i, and then you want to multiply that by three i, continue to type that in using your i value, and you multiply it and you will get your negative one. So i squared equals negative 1 as we expected. This will be negative 12 because of the i squared aspect of it, and 4 times 3. You can also do addition and subtraction. So a complex number is in a plus bi mode, or form rather. So 2 plus i in parentheses, and then 4 minus 5i in parentheses. I don't think those parentheses are necessary, but that's the way the original problem is written. And then as you hit enter here, you get your 6 minus 4i. The nice thing about this is that it can also be used to find the answer to a quadratic formula problem. So um, if you have the quadratic formula programmed into your graphing calculator, if you hit the program button and you choose the way mine is set up, it says quad there, and it'll tell you what, ask you for what your A, B, and C values are. So usually when you do that, if you do um, 1, 4, and a negative 8 or something like that, it gives you your answers. Therefore, these are your roots of your quadratic equation 1x squared plus 4x minus 8, uh, those decimal values. However, if I want to do the quadratic formula here of x squared minus 6x plus 58, find out those roots, then I could go into my program again and uh, choose your quadratic formula if you have it programmed, and you hit 1, and then negative 6, and a 58 for your A, B, and C. And the nice thing about it being in A plus BI mode is that it gives us our non-real solutions or non-real roots to this quadratic. And so you have your conjugate pair of 3 plus 7i and x equals 3 minus 7i for your solutions. And that's the nice thing about using A plus BI mode on your graphing calculator.